Hi Rust lovers and welcome to the Baywatch. It is a boat or sub base, depending on what you want to do, uh, with a watchtower built in. It has quite a bit of space and mobility and uh, some lookout features as well as some other features which I'll run through with you now. Um, it's meant to be a bit of fun, perfectly usable. It's not Fort Knox, but you can make it a lot stronger if you upgrade all the walls, etc. I've left it as stone uh, because I think it looks the best in this example. So with that, let's go in. Okay, so features. Uh, we've got an outside light here, which will automatically turn on when it goes night time. I'll demonstrate that later. Front door. Um, again, you could put two extra door frames here, make all this stronger. So this initial door here up in the watchtower little drop box here put in whatever you want lantern there got a loot room here smallish one three large boxes three small boxes and a barbecue here you've got a furnace room a couple of furnaces and a box just to uh, store whatever you're cooking up the top here got a workbench sofa but of course you can put boxes here or a search bench, whatever you want. I've just stuck this over to make it cozy. Uh, three small boxes in this example, barbecue and another furnace. Um, you've of course got 360 degree viewing uh, with the watchtower. You could substitute these shop fronts, which these are of course, with um, just windowed walls and put uh, metal bars if you want a shooting floor, whatever you want. Uh, I prefer shop fronts just to see what's going on and uh, survey the surroundings, as it were. So that's that. Let's go back downstairs, we'll lock that up. You could make all these walls in metal. You could also have, uh, as I mentioned, a couple of extra carriage doors here. Close that down. In here, I've gone and put a battery, uh, which runs the power for the base. Um, I'll quickly summarize this. So this is what's coming in from the four solar panels on the roof. I've got three one way and one an alternate way so I can cover um, mainly the automatic lights on and off on the outside, which I'll run through uh, later and demonstrate that. That's what's coming in at the moment from all four solar panels because obviously the sun is either rising or setting, setting I believe. Split a little bit of power off here for this blocker. This blocker is what turns on the lights when the power stops coming in. The rest of it goes in the battery for charging, and this is just split up into three separate circuits, uh, which I'll show you are what's for now. First circuit is this, internal lighting. Got that set for about five minutes. When you hit that switch, this leads into our boat bay. Um, that switch powers the lighting for here, in this boat bay, one above the boat. Nice sign. Um, got an emergency lantern here. This push button here, which I'll demonstrate what that does. I'll turn the main power off just to keep off this lighting. This is the main power for the whole base, by the way, just to give you a cut off point. I'll turn it back on. If you arrive back in your boat and it's approaching nighttime or nighttime, rather than fumble your way through this door looking for this timer, you push this button, it activates the same timer via the little toggle uh, switch on the side of it. Um, your boat, of course, Door opens and closes manually on the inside. When you go outside, there is a HPHF sensor which will sense you arriving and open the door for you. Um, in here, got a workbench, another workbench. Again, whatever level you want. You don't even have to have a workbench here. I just like one at each end just in case I want to make a bit of uh, sulfur upstairs. Sorry, gunpowder upstairs and uh, equipment here. Got a conventional loot room here. Again, configure it however you like. That is only one wall to the outside. So even though you've got quite a few doors, I'm aware of that, make it high quality, make it metal, whatever you want. Or you could honeycomb it. It'll take a few triangles on the outside. I didn't do it for this video because I think it ruins the look of the base. A um, Couple of boxes, of course, workbench too. Got my TC in here. I've just gonna put a metal wall here so you can't soft side this once you get through that door. Um, but again, there is only one wall on the outside feel free to honeycomb it, make that metal. If you make the whole lower floor metal, then it doesn't immediately show that this is a TC. But again, you don't have to put your TC here. You could put it in here. Put a couple more doors here, so at least three doors through to get to it, four plus this one. The choice is yours. Put your battery in here, maybe. However you like. Um, just another drop box there when you come back from your uh, pirating ex ex exhibitions, if I can spit that word out. Another furnish, just for convenience. Up here, a couple of boxes of storage. 
a shelf, and we've got up here a small farm, which you can cram in with this under the sloping roof. A couple of lights, a couple of boxes for your seeds and what have you, water. This is just a, a power off for these two lights. These are on all the time unless you turn that off because with a farm you want that. Uh, so as you can see, we've got four small um, planters. So you can get quite a bit from those every couple of hours. Another box up here managed to squeeze in. Uh, and then you can get back down here, lock that down. But you could use the upstairs again for more storage if you're not interested in farming of any kind. Um, the choice is yours. We'll figure it how you like. And I'll just show you the uh, outside with the boats. Open that up. Sit down. Should have some fuel in here. Yeah. Now, sometimes it can knock out the boat. I've made it a tad low, and that's just from the positioning of the early foundations I did. No, it's fine. So I've got a light above the uh, main door there, which actually glows green when it's night time, uh, along with all the lights on the watchtower there and the light above the front door, which I'll demonstrate in a second. So pretty much the same as other boat bases I've built before. Automatic doors as you approach. Oh, drive boat. It will automatically open for you. That was absolutely shocking. <laughs> but there you go. Um, it will do the job for you. Save messing around, getting out the back seat if you're a solo, jumping on the front, opening the door, etc. Um, to see how that works, I will add it in at the end of the video if you want to know. Uh, as well as a very, very quick build because I've noticed from other videos people don't tend to watch all the tweak going up and how it's laid out. The bases aren't too complicated that I build. Um, the biggest thing here really, I mean, basically it's a, it's a, it's a two by three. Uh, and then here, you've got the standard round of triangles just joined on the side there. The only thing is when you do that roof, use your triangle roof tiles uh, on the corners where the triangles are, and you've just got to get the angles right generally. The rest of it is pretty straightforward. Just make sure this staircase is in the, uh, the correct spot, as you'll see in the build tutorial. Uh, after this, which I took as I was building this uh, a couple of times, I built it in the wrong uh, starting position and it doesn't allow you to climb all the way to the top because of the roof tiles getting in the way, which you can see here now, you can see coming through this room. Um, that prevents you from climbing up the stairs if you put it on the other side. It's getting night time, go outside. Let's see the lights come on. They're not on already. And there you go. Once it gets night time, that kicks in. So if you're coming back to your base uh, at night via boat or sea, um, you can see where you're going. And the little lights at the top there, just uh, just as a nice touch. So our lights have kicked off in here. Kick that on. Got a fully lit base. We had a few candles as well, just to make it look a little bit uh, cosy. Did have some here, but they've burnt out. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'll now, for if you're uh, if you got this far, I'll briefly show how the uh, electrics are done on the door. And um, also here you can see the blocker, the power's completely ceased from the solar panels. And because of that, that allows the power to go through that blocker, which is, is taken from the battery. And the battery will easy to la easily last overnight. Small battery is not enough for this base as it's configured with these lights. A light in there as well. Um, you need a medium one, which is 50 power to power all the, uh, the lights. And the circuits haven't got a light up here, but uh, there's nothing stopping you uh, putting one in the ceiling up here. You have to crouch just here because those shelves get in the way. I've got these candles, obviously. Um, but yeah. So let's go through how the door opens and closes. Just put the uh, headlamp on here. So basically, you've got 
um, a door opener on the side there, which you can see. Just put that in there. So that they put on the door, it'll open the nearest door it's connected to. So if you've got two doors next to each other, you need to put it, you know, could grab either one. Unlock the door, press E and it will link to the door. Then to power it up, put your HPHF sensor outside. It has an in and an out. Put your in power, it only needs, you need two. One for the HPHF sensor, one for that door opener. Link one to the other and then uh, you're good to go. The only thing, the other thing you have to do is just set the HPF sensor, HPHF sensor to exclude um, unauthorized people on the TC. The reason that it says exclude authorized was that it's set not to that. If I tap E out now, it will change it to that, which you don't want. So we've got, um, we've got it set so it includes everyone who's authorised on the TC. You can see the green light on there now. Didn't show you earlier. Not that it's a big deal. But if you're coming home in the dark, gives you a little bit of a guide. It's pitch black. Plus you've got the lights in the tower. Of course. So yeah that's it. So onto the build if you still care. But it's pretty straightforward. If you got this far thank you for watching so far and uh, I'll do a very quick build um, summarizing in literally a couple of minutes <laughs>